Hello everyone, here we are for another Golf Clash tutorial, Sakura Hills, par 5. This is the original hole, hole number 3. Now I'm going to set up my bag with this. Oh, it doesn't look like my uh, driver saved. I switched my drivers, it doesn't look like for some reason the change took. I'm going to use that and on on a case like this with a tailwind, um, I might get a little bit more aggressive and try to shoot down to that other fairway. So what I'll usually do is maybe close to my max ring adjustment, uh, plus maybe about 10 extra percent when I, when I go for a curl shot like this. And there you can see I got my perfect ball. And uh, let me just, you know, I was running out of time, otherwise I would have showed you the uh, adjustment on the notebook app but well, let me just show you this real quick um, I think that was 7.1 so I, I I went about five rings plus all that curl so you could see that uh, you know 4.6 ish gets me kind of in the ballpark and hopefully with that curl you know I shoot down to that last fairway there uh, getting to that second fairway isn't going to be mandatory if uh, you know you can lay up certain wins um, especially headwinds, you're not going to be able to get there and you'll have to lay up to this first fairway. Looks like my opponent should be good here. Let's take a look. See if that holds on. Looks like it's going to. So let's pull out things here and get set up. I'll usually use no elevation on this hole. As a typical rule of thumb, it looks like I'm going to be at guardian distance, 9.6. Keep in mind that uh, you know you might want to use sniper for this tour, but only if it's a level eight. If it isn't a level eight, then you're going to probably you know not want to do so. Now you can see that I was touching min club, but I'm going to be pulling up towards max club, so I'm going to have to factor that in. And also, you know, with my backspin um, into a headwind like this, especially up and up slope, I need to make sure that I'm very careful. And here you can see 5.7 rings here. I'm actually going to go a little bit more than 6 rings. I actually call it a great ball. But it is going to uh, check up, you know, much more rapidly. You can see it coming in here and just barely rolling through. It uh, comes in much slower with the, um, with the headwind wind effect. So you do want to keep that ball guide a little past the hole. As you can see, I put my third bounce basically right around the hole, and it, it turned out that my fourth bounce ended up near the hole using that adjustment. <clears throat> Keep in mind that I didn't use any elevation there. Uh, you could potentially use as much as, I would say, maybe minus 10%. Uh, you can see that it does shoot up to a little bit higher zone. Uh, the only thing is that it does dip down for a while. So with that dip down um, to that lower fairway, it kind of almost evens out your trajectory. So there's really no benefit to, oh wow, this screen is different. So the slope here is different. They must have completely changed the screen. This is the first time I've seen this. Um, very new change for the tour, so it's a good thing that I'm coming in, giving you this updated content. Keep in mind, this is probably the first that you're seeing this green like this. So I was expecting, you know, that's probably part of the reason my ball might have came in a little bit hotter as well, is it looks like, you know, that side hill, I used to use it as almost a uh, backstop, and there isn't really a backstop anymore. So once you get to the hole, you can see that it just kind of drops off behind the hole a little bit. I didn't notice that, but that's quite interesting. Here you can see we're going to get another uh, Sakura Hills hole. I'm going to split these up, and I'll catch you guys on the second video. 